Hello and welcome to Muse for You. This is John, your Adobe Muse instructor. Uh, in the last video uh, with Mailchimp, I showed you how to add a Mailchimp. Now this will be a quick video on how to style your Mailchimp form in Adobe Muse. So in the last video, um, I just placed this form uh, in Adobe Muse. Uh, now to style it, it takes a little bit of uh, going into the code, but not much. Um, so I just select the form here. Um, I right click and I can edit the HTML, which is the code. And then you'll look for kind of the st styling of this, uh, this form, which is right near the top, right here. So you look, it's the third line down, and you just look for the word style, and then the, the ending style tag here. This is called the style tag, and here it's called, you know, here it ends the style tag. And then if you look through this code a little bit, you can see it says background, then it has a color code, uh, clear left, the font size, uh, the font type, and uh, that's pretty much it. So if I wanted to change the uh, color, uh, the background of this form to a different color, uh, first let me get the color. So I want it to be kind of this blue that's up here near the S. So I'm going to find that color and click here. So if I use the the eyedropper tool, like I just, all I did was go to fill the drop down, use the eyedropper tool and select this blue on top of this uh, S. And then I have the color code right here. Um, it has this kind of pound symbol and then the code. So I just need to copy this, this 3AABDF. I can hit Command C on my Mac, Control C on PC or right click and copy. And then if I go back to my MailChimp, and yeah, okay. If I go back to this uh, mailing list, I right click, go edit HTML, again look for the style uh, tag. And then where it says background, just after that pound symbol, just Command V or uh, right click and paste. And there's that uh, color code. Um, and it's uh, control, control V on a PC, Command V on a Mac, or right click and paste. And there's the, the uh, color code. Then click OK. And now this form has a, uh, a different uh, background. And I can right click again, edit, edit HTML, excuse me. Um, and then I can even change the font color. I think the, uh, the tag for that is font or just color, and then you can even just say white, and it changes the text to white. So if I preview this in the browser, um, I have a nice form that kind of matches this blue of my uh, image here, and I can fill out the form and all that good stuff. So yeah, you can you can play with the code a little bit. Um, you can even change the font size uh, to 20 pixels instead of 14, and that'll just make everything bigger. Really, very good. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for styling. Oh, uh, one more thing. Let's say you wanted, wanted, excuse me, wanted to change this uh, subscribe to our mailing list text. You just right click, edit HTML, and then you just look for the words that say subscribe to our mailing list, which is a little bit further down, and it's in these H2 tags. So you could say um, Muse for you mailing list and click OK, and it'll change it there. Hit Command Shift E to preview in the browser. Muse for you mailing list. And if you know the, uh, the name of the font you want to use, uh, you can put it in here. Um, here, let me just put that there. It should have a semicolon. Uh, but yeah, you can change it from Helvetica to, to you know Arial Sans Serif to a different font, and it'll change, um, oh, maybe not. So maybe this doesn't need that there. Okay, good. Yeah. So yeah, just kind of mess with the code. And uh, yeah, this is useful if uh, after you've kind of styled the form and created created it, if you want to add different style once it's in your Muse site so you don't have to go back and forth in MailChimp and, you know, kind of go back and forth there. And I'm not even sure if MailChimp allows you to style a, an embedded form. I think you might have to do the styling uh, just like I did here. But it's pretty useful because you can match the styling of this MailChimp form to your website. 
All right, so that's it for this video. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the discussion, and I'll be happy to answer them. All right, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.